Hey guys, welcome back to Lacrosse Hacks. Coach Laxbog here. Thanks for coming back this week. Today we're going to talk about dying heads. We're going to go a little different than the normal script. Today I want to talk about the 10 things I learned when dying lacrosse heads. It's been a while. This was the head I died once ooh, about eight years ago when my first daughter was born. To proclaim her gender, I took my old Evo, Evo 2 out, dyed it pink. But today, I learned about a lot of different dyes, a lot of different ways of doing things, and as you see, here are some of the results here. Number one, do your research. Research YouTube. There are so many awesome videos out there. There's so many great people doing a lot of cool things. Uh, top three that I'd recommend. Lacrosse All-Stars had a really nice video on how to do it. Number two, Red Star Lacrosse. If you're not following Red Star Lacrosse on YouTube, you're missing out because they had some really cool stuff going on, just creative all around lacrosse. Uh, the gentleman that's in charge of that channel is doing some really, really cool things. He was doing some things with hot glue and dyeing, um, a lot of tips and tricks on just what to do, how to do it, uh, what not to do. So definitely check out Red Star Lacrosse and maybe the premiere of social media accounts in lacrosse. Uh, ECD Lacrosse is doing some really, really, really cool things just all around the sport of lacrosse. Greg was doing some really cool videos showing you exactly how to dye certain things, different ways to dye, two, two color fades, single color, uh, marbling, which I learned about, which I'll show you here in a little bit. A lot of really cool stuff, so definitely check out those three channels. And there's a lot more. Check them out. Give yourself some ideas. That's the number one thing to learn. Number two, I highly recommend using the liquid RIT dye. I did use the powder and the liquid. I highly recommend the liquid. Why? Because it's easily resealable. With the powder, I was like, ah, I'm not going to be able to use this again, so I may as well dump the whole packet in. Well, funny story. The top color of my daughter's stick here was supposed to be Kelly Green. It is more of an aquamarine color, a slate bluish type color. It is not Kelly Green, and that's because I dumped the whole packet of red dye in. With the bottles, I'm not tempted to do that. Dump a little, get the color I like, not yet. Dump a little bit more. Okay, this seems about right. Then I dye my head. Yes, sweetheart. That was in a, I was in a groove there. She messed my groove up. Number three, thanks to the ECD channel, I found out about the trash can trick. Trash cans are excellent. Why? Because it doesn't use up a ton of water. And a lacrosse stick fits perfectly inside. Use something small like chopsticks, or I use my paint stirrer, insert it through the head, and now because you're utilizing a trash can, you can use the edges of the trash can to hold the head up to exactly the place you want it to be. Now the dye will go to that desired level. Number five now, one thing I'd recommend when you're going to do your dyes, I learned this with some of these heads here, do a nice little test, okay? Don't just drop it in, all right, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Not the best idea. Highly recommend, dip it in, see how much takes. Okay, what's that color look like? Pull it out now, okay, not there yet, not there yet. Highly recommend, do a quick little dip test, pull it out, get an idea of what the color is, how quickly it's setting on your head, and then go back in to the desired level. For me, my heads took me about anywhere from five to 20 minutes, depending upon the color that I wanted to achieve. So I think we're at tip number six now. This may be a no-brainer, but the longer you put it in the dye, the darker it's going to get. Like I just talked about with the dip test, we did that with this head. My daughter wanted a red and purple stick. Well, <laughs> as we did the dip test, we saw the very pretty pink that was happening. She really liked the pink color, so we stopped there. We actually started with a cherry red. We thought we were gonna go to a cherry red. We did the dip test a few times. Turns out the lighter color, the lighter shade of the dark red was going to be pink, and we loved it. Number seven. One thing I learned from Red Star Lacrosse, and I really appreciated him putting this out there, is be careful with the dye. Don't get it on your hands, because if you get it on your hands, you're trying to dye your stick a certain way. Okay, so we're doing dark green down here, dark green, oh, I get it on my hands, oh well. I go and I dye again. Now it's gonna get on the wrong area of the plastic that you did not want. You do not want dye to bleed over into a different area, then you're gonna have to get really creative. So, definitely pay attention to what you're doing. Keep the dye off of your fingers. You can use latex gloves, you can use paper towels, or just be extremely careful. Make sure you don't get dye because it'll go unwanted places. Number eight, that's right, de detailing. So what kind of details do you want to add to your stick? One of the really cool ways to do this is with stickers. Stickers, vinyl stickers, uh, electrical tape. There are different ways to make designs that you can attach to your head. And if we take a look here, I was fortunate enough to use my wife's awesome Cricut, come up with a design for Off Ball Lax. Basically, we took our logo and just applied it to the head. So I did an undercoat. 
I did an undercoat light green dye, then I applied the stickers, then I did the dark green dye with the stickers in place, and take the stickers off, you see off-ball lacks. Number nine, marbling. Marbling is a really cool thing you can do to your heads. I did it here to this one, you can kind of see going across the head, at the top, at the sides, Really cool marbling. Check out our Instagram account if you want to see a little bit more off ball lax on Instagram. Check it out. You'll see the heads close up. But marbling is a really cool thing I learned about I never knew about before. Thanks to the research I did on YouTube, people are doing some really cool things with it. Unfortunately, when I was checking out YouTube, I found that everyone said use webbing spray. I searched everywhere, high and low. Where is this webbing spray? I could not find it anywhere. But I did find, it appears though it changed its name, marbleizing spray. The only place I could find marbleizing spray was at Michael's. I checked a bunch of other craft stores, I checked Walmart, checked Target. I couldn't find it anywhere else. I don't know if it's just my local places, but I could find it at Michael's. Check out marbleizing spray to do that really cool effect. And finally, lastly, tip number 10. The one thing I learned about marbleizing spray is it's kind of hard to get off. The videos made it look a little bit easier. Warm water, wipe it off. I used a paper towel, I used a toothpick. Everything worked okay, but what I'd recommend is one of these soft scrub bristles, okay? This actually worked out really well. It didn't damage any of the dye job, but it helped get that marbleizing spray off because it can be a pain in certain areas. So there you go. There's the 10 things I learned and maybe a bonus tip number 11. My daughter and I were just curious what would happen if we dropped our ball, our lacrosse ball into the pink dye. Well, as you see, nothing. <laughs> our pink dye slightly rubbed off onto the ball but it really didn't do anything. So there you go. There's our 10 things I learned when learning how to dye heads. A lot of awesome information out there. Research, find what you want, set to your customization level. Thanks for stopping by this week. Check out our Instagram channel, at OffBallLax, if you want to see the heads a little more up close and personal. And I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget the little things.